Hello, my name is Dr Gill. I've been asked to do an examination of your hands today. Before we start, could we please confirm your name and date of birth? Yeah, it's Megan Struthers, um, the 22nd of February, 1950. Super. So in terms of doing the examination, what that's going to involve is having a look at your hands, then pressing around your hands, that might cause a little bit of discomfort, and then doing some movements as well to see if we can find any other source of the pain. Is that okay? Yeah. Super. So before we start, are you right or left-handed? Right-handed. Okay, so if I get you to put your hands on the um, pillow form, so what we're doing is just having a good look and seeing if I can see any clear issues. Okay, no obvious problems there. And if you can turn over to the other side for me. Okay, and we're doing the same again, just seeing if I can see any visual changes. There's nothing obvious there. Now, if you could lightly make a fist and just bring your fingers into the top for me. And if you could turn your hands over and again make a fist for me. So again, having a look and everything looks normal there. Super. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to press around your hands, if that's okay. So I'm going to start off at the top, just uh, doing pressing over the wrist. Tell me if at any point there's any discomfort at all. Okay. And then I'm going down all the long bones. And then we're going to check all the joints. So I'm going to go above and around each joint. Again, at any point, tell me if there's any discomfort. Any issues there at all? No. Okay. And the final one that can be uncomfortable, we're going to squeeze across the knuckles. Anything there? No. Super, we're going to do the same on the opposite side. So again, with the wrist. Again, the long branch of the hand. Okay, and finally just again squeezing over the knuckles. Everything okay there? Okay, if you could turn your palms over for me. I'm going to do the similar again, just pressing around the wrist to start off. Any discomfort there? No. Okay. And any problems along the muscles, please say. Okay, the palm feels nice and normal. And then along the underside of the fingers. Okay, and we'll do the same again over here. So once again, over the wrist. And then checking the muscles. And then along the fingers. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do is put your thumb up like so, and I'm going to press in this area here. So if you can don't turn over and put your hands on both sides. So tell me if there's any discomfort here. Okay, anything there. Okay, I'm just going to twist and pull at the base of the thumb. Any problems? No. Good. Super. So now we're going to do uh, uh, some more of those movements. So again, if you could put your hands flat for me. So we haven't found any obvious uh, issues pressing around. Now we're going to do the movements of the hands, but I'm going to do another uh, small bit of pressing before we do that. If I can get you to move your thumbs upwards for me. Okay. I'm going to press in that hollow. Any discomfort there? No. Super. And any discomfort there? No. Super. So if you put your hands flat, we're going to have a look at um, the tendons that, that are controlling your hands. Okay. So I'm just going to hold on to your fingers now for me. And please try and move that finger back to your palm. Okay, that's fine, now relax. And we'll do the same again on the side. And relax. Now we're going to do the same again, but I'm going to hold the, uh, across your hands just to move the tip. Now we're going to make that a little bit more difficult. I want you to just move that fingertip, please. Super. And again, the same over here. Excellent. If you move your thumbs out and then back in. And if you move your thumb up, please. I'm just going to hold the top. And if you could just flex your thumb down, so bend your thumb. Excellent, and back up. Super. And we'll do the same on this side, so bend your thumb down. Super. Okay. So, um, if you could make a fist for me. Okay, and then relax out. Okay, I'm going to do the same now, and I'm going to see if I can feel any issues of that. Okay, good, so there's no creaks, there's no cracks. We've got normal range of movement. Okay, if you could spread your fingers as far out as they can, and then back in for me. Okay, so uh, we're now going to do some movements. I'm just going to take your wrist. Okay, and turn your hand over for me. Okay, and I want you to turn, uh, to turn outwards, please. 
Okay, and then inwards, super. And put your wrist down and all the way back up, super. We'll do the same on this side. So if you turn your wrist out and turn your wrist in and then drop it down and all the way back, superb. So I haven't found any issues pressing around the hand. So I just need to do one more, but starting with some movement as well. If you could put your thumbs out to the side for me. I'm just going to press over here. Any pain? No. Okay. And any pain here? No. Super. So if you could turn your hands over for me, and if you could make a fist once again, and relax. And I'm just going to do the same. I'm going to move your fingers and see if I can feel any crepitus, any cracking, any reduction in movement. That looks fine. We'll do the same again on this side. Good. Okay, so we're going to look at the range of movements that you can do. So you're keeping your hands like so, um, if you can move your hands in, okay, and then move your hands out. Okay. So flex your wrist back as far as you can, brilliant, and close your wrist the other way, <laughs> superb. Okay, um, I'm just going to do that, uh, uh, that movement to see if it causes any pain, any issues with that. No. Okay, I'll we'll do the same again. So if you could uh, pick your hands up, and we're going to test both hands at the same time. I'm going to get this piece of paper, I'm going to put it between your thumbs, and you grip that, and I'm going to do the same. So we're testing strength against each other. So don't let me pull the paper out. Okay, super, and relax. And we're going to do um, the same again with your index and middle finger on both sides. Okay, and don't let, let me pull. Super. So if you could take both my fingers in your hands and squeeze them tight as you can, try and break them, really go for it. Superb, that's fine. And if you can make the okay sign, okay. And don't let me pull through, that's fine. And if you go to your little fingers, okay, don't let me pull through, that's fine. To uh, complete the bit of movement, if you can put your uh, wrists together, uh, your, your backs together, and we'll leave that there for uh, 60 seconds. Whilst we're doing that, what we're trying to uh, see for is if you get any pins and needles anywhere on your fingers. So, obviously, we've uh, uh, the magic of cinema, we've allowed 60 seconds. Have you had any changes to your fingers? No. Okay, super. That's fine. Now, if you could rotate round the other way for me, okay, and try and bring your hands down to about right angle. So we're stressing there. And the magic of cinema, we'll do 60 seconds. Any changes to your fingers there at all? No. Okay. Again, if you could put your hands back like so. We're going to do, uh, I'm going to tap over your palm. Does that cause any tingling there? No. Okay, and the same again on the side. Any problems with that? No. Super. So we haven't found any obvious abnormalities uh, with your um, hands today. Do you have any questions for myself? No. Super. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.